any award you win, the greatest moment is when you first hold that honor in your hands. The most memorable moment when you lift it, thanking the gods. On Saturday as a 28 year wait ended for Team India, that moment was denied as the champions did the victory lap at the Vankade carrying in their hands was not the original perpetuity trophy as is the tradition. Instead, they were carrying what was supposed to be given to Team India post the presentation. And with the answers we are getting, it seems everyone cheated our champions in that moment in history. When the champions ran around Vankade Stadium in the victory lap, there you are. Not, not everybody in the team going there, but obviously Sachin Tendulkar would uh, want to go with it because not even it's a huge form. It was a replica. When Yuvraj kissed it a thousand times. We kissed the uh, World Cup trophy like a thousand times. So it's, it's just something, it was a dream for all of us. He was hugging a replica. Obviously, when you have so much effort, you need to get the original trophy. I think it's the biggest tournament, so the original trophy will be the biggest trophy. It is a fiasco, a complete mess. This is what happens when the champions are not happy. The ICC was to give the perpetual trophy to the winner of the World Cup 2011 edition of the World Cup. The ICC was to give the perpetual trophy to the winners of the 2011 edition of the World Cup, as is the tradition. But Team India was presented with the replica, which is given to the winners only after the presentation for keeps. So what Ponting held was the perpetuity trophy. But Dhoni had the replica. Realizing the potential of the fiasco, not one, but several versions of the truth. The ICC twisting words says what the team was supposed to get, it has got. Uh, we have two trophies, one which is a tournament specific uh, trophy. It's the actual World Cup trophy for the event. And that is exactly the trophy that was presented to India. The BCCI refuses to call the trophy Team India has as the replica, blaming the customs instead. I mean, it should have been at the wisdom of the custom people who allowed it to come to this day. They had already been at history as that trophy provided. Probably that trophy would have been handed over to India. It would have been a different glory. The customs department in turn says they were specifically told to keep the trophy in their custody. They got in touch with the tournament committee director, Professor Arish Shetty, and very nice of you, I am saying again, he immediately clarified that we already have the cup which is to be given to the winning team. What clearly shows is that everybody is trying to pass the blame. This letter, which I am holding in my hand, shows that contrary to the anger being shown by the BCCI, they did not want the trophy to be removed from the customs. If the original was never meant to be given to the winning team, why was it brought to Mumbai? Did the ICC allow customs to hold the trophy because it did not want to cough up the 22 lakh rupees as customs duty? As a BCCI official claims, did Sharad Pawar lobby with the Prime Minister's office to get the tax waived? Why is the BCCI raising the question of national pride if the trophy at customs isn't an original? Without an official waiver, how did the ICC expect Indian customs to waive the tax? Since a part of the tax is refundable, was it more a question of arrogance by the ICC vis-a-vis -vis Indian laws? For an organization that makes 1500 crores out of a tournament, should they review their attitude vis-a-vis -vis Indian laws? Would the ICC expect a similar freebie or a waiver in any other country including Dubai, the ICC headquarters? Whether the questions are answered or not, whether the clarifications are believable or not, our champions held a replica in the most original and glorious moment of their lives.